Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 7 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about formatting ASP.NET Grid View control. Now, in SQL Server, I have this table TBL employee. I want to retrieve the data that's available in this table and then display that in a grid view control in my ASP.NET Web Application project. So obviously, we need a grid view control for that. So let's drag and drop a grid view control onto the web form. And we want to retrieve data from the table using SQL data source control. So let's drag and drop that as well. Click on the Smart Act button, click on Configure Data Source. Now in my web.config file, I have a connection string which points to the SQL Server that's installed on my machine. So let's click Next now. And then within the SQL Server, we have a table called TBL Employee. And I want to display all the columns from that table. So I'm selecting you know, all columns, uh, which is indicated by star. So select star from TBL Employee, click Next test your query so we can see all the rows there click finish we are done configuring the SQL data source control now let's associate that with this grid view control using data source ID property so select SQL data source one control and that's it we are done so let's run this application by pressing control F5 now we should see on this web form the data that we retrieve from TBL employees table now if you look at this on the web form look at this all the columns that are available in the table are displayed here. Now let's say for example I don't want to display employee ID column in the grid view control. So how can we achieve that? There are three different ways we can do it. Now obviously the straightforward way is to modify the select query of the SQL data source control. So if you remember when we were configuring SQL data source control we specified the query basically we said select all columns instead of that we can specify the columns that we want and exclude that we don't need and then finish that so when I finish that you know the grid view needs to be refreshed to include only those columns now if we run this as you might expect as you might expect, we only get the columns that we have specified. We don't get employee ID column. So that's the first way. What's the second way? We can remove the bound field column from the grid view control that displays employee ID. Now, let's say, for example, the SQL data source control itself, I want to retrieve all the columns from the database. Maybe because I am using this SQL data source control with another data bound control maybe on that page. So I want all the columns to be present in the SQL data source control, but in the grid view control, I don't want to display employee ID. Is that possible? Absolutely. All we need to do, so let's test our query. Look at that. We get our employee ID as well. So let's refresh the grid view. Now look at this. We have a column for employee ID as well. So obviously when we run this, employee ID will be displayed but then we don't want that to be displayed in the grid view control. And to achieve that, all we need to do is get rid of the columns. Look at this. These are all the columns that are being displayed in the grid view control. Okay. Now we don't want employee ID column. All you need to do is get rid of that bound column there. We'll talk about what a bound column means in a later video session in a, in a great detail. But at the moment, understand that this column that you see in the grid view control here is used to display employee ID column that is present in the database table. So if you look at this, the column data field, you know, that is actually pointing to employee ID column from TBL employees table. Okay, so we don't want this column in the grid view control. So if we delete that, run this now, obviously our grid view control will not have employee ID column, but the data source will have it. Okay, that's one way. And another way is to simply, instead of deleting the column, what you basically can do is set the visible property to false. So visible is equal to false. Now again, when we run this, obviously the column will not be present in the grid view control. All right, so that's the first thing we want to do. Now another thing, notice that the headers in the grid view control, if you look at the headers, you know, first name, last name, date of birth, annual salary, all these column headers in the grid view control are same as that of in the table. Now I don't, you know, these column names doesn't make to the make sense to the end user because first name there's no space between first and name date of birth there is no space between between date of and birth so basically i want these column headers to have spaces in them so how do i achieve that that's very straightforward to achieve if you look at the columns that are displaying these you know these are the bound fields and if you look at each bound field, it has got a property called header text all you need to do is let's say for example you know and a space between first name, just put a space in the header text property. 
so last name and date of birth similarly annual salary and department name save that and obviously when we refresh this now we should see spaces in the headers of the grid view control so to achieve that simply change the header text property now look at the date of birth column now if you look at date of birth column it's a date time column in the database table so since it is a date time column and since the select star from TBL employee returns you know date and time the grid view simply displays that date and time now date of birth I don't really need to display time here to the end user so is it possible just to display the date part of it absolutely all we need to do is we need to use something called data format string so now I actually need to format the data that's present in this grid view control and to do that I can make use of data format string so here the call column is date of birth okay so within the grid view control I have this date of birth column and all I need to do is there is a property called date data format string okay so I'm setting this data format string to 0 colon day okay which indicates that we want a short date pattern okay so which is going to display just the time now you can notice the difference immediately uh, in the grid view control look at this it's it displays 0 colon D that's because when we use data format string you need to specify that in you know a, a flower bracket like this okay now if you flip to the design mode look at that it displays only the date part of it so obviously now if I come here and refresh this now it should show only the date part and not the time part and look at this this is the short date uh, you know pattern now if I want a long date pattern for example January 1st 1982 something like that then I can use a long date pattern I mean a long date data format string so instead of small d if I put capital D and then if I refresh this page you should see a long date pattern there 10th August 1982 in you know, a full month names expanded there okay now obviously what are these data format strings now you can find a complete list of data you know data format strings on MSDN at this link that you can see okay it explains uh, you know basically there are several date format strings here because this date of birth is a uh, date time data type you know there are several date format strings from MSDN which tells us how to you know depending on the format string that we apply this date time you know data type will be changed and you can find that complete list at this URL there alright now if you look at the annual salary column here now obviously this is a salary column so I want to display a currency symbol as well now for example if I am paying the employees in US dollars then I want to display a dollar symbol or, or great British pound depending on what is the currency that I am paying for those employees okay so to do that again we use you know currency format strings okay so obviously I can use 0 colon C for that on that annual salary column so if I you know go to the grid view control so we have this annual salary column here now again we need to specify data format string so I'm gonna copy that and paste it on annual salary and look at this I'm gonna specify 0 colon C now the moment I do that it's gonna display look at this it's displaying pound symbol now let me go ahead and refresh this and we should see on the page as well so it, it shows a pound symbol there and that's basically you know on my machine I have the current culture you know the default culture set to you know United Kingdom that's why it shows a great British pound symbol there now how do I find out what is the default culture on my machine it's very easy all you need to do is response dot write system dot threading dot thread dot current thread dot culture you know current culture now this is a string property uh, I mean basically this object the current culture object convert that to string and then that's gonna 
tell us what culture is the you know is the default culture on my machine so look at this it's english hyphen gb so great britain uh, so that's why it's displaying a pound symbol now let's say i don't want to display a pound symbol instead maybe i want to display united states dollar is that possible absolutely you can override this default culture setting uh, you know in web.config file for example so how do we do it in web.config file uh, here under system.web so system dot web specify globalization setting so globalization you know culture is equal to English hyphen US so the moment I do that I have changed the you know setting in web.config file let's go ahead and refresh this it should say I mean it should show uh, United States uh, dollar symbol there on the other on the other hand let's say for example you know in web.config file I have set my culture to English hyphen US so this is applicable to all pages in my web application now is it possible to override this culture setting on a page by page basis absolutely let's say for example now instead of United States dollar I want to display Indian rupee is that possible absolutely and that too just on this web form one let's say my web form my application may have 10 different web forms but you know on this web form one dot ASPX I want to display Indian rupee is that possible absolutely all you do need to do is override the setting that you have specified in web.config file on a page by page basis using the culture attribute of the page directive so I'm gonna set culture to maybe English hyphen in for India so now let's go ahead and run this now as you might expect it's going to display a rupee symbol Indian rupee symbol for annual salary there all right again you can find at this URL all the standard numeric format strings okay so currency symbols you know are determined by the culture setting if we can change the culture setting you know globally for all the pages within web.config file it is also possible to change it on a page by page basis using culture attribute of the page directive now if you want to do it programmatically then you can use you know the current culture property of current thread object okay so if I don't want to do it here you know declaratively in the HTML of the page I can do it in the programmatically as well all I need to need to do is set the system dot threading dot current culture property so that's going to take a new culture info object and to that constructor we need to specify let's say for example I want uh, English hyphen Indian culture okay so let's go ahead and run this now we are changing the culture programmatically on the page level so the same output all right on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day